All right. You all have your orders. Bridge to Captain Kirk. All departments report ready to begin helm and navigation calibration maneuvers. Acknowledge, Mr. Sulu. We'll begin at 1,400 hours. I'm on my way. Let's go check off. Aye, sir. So how is that new medical technician working out? Everett, right? Oh, I sent him back right away. He had transferred from Computer Systems Division. Oh, okay. So you didn't even give him a try? Nope. Those computer guys are never nurturing enough. Why do you say that? I've had two med techs from Computer Systems before. Tipton last year and Ali back in March. They didn't work out. Just not very empathetic. Okay, then. Well, maybe you should look for med techs from engineering, or perhaps security department next time? Excuse me, ladies. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, Mr. Spock? The argument you are employing, nurse, is not logical. In fact, it employs the fallacy of insufficient sample, also known as the hasty generalization, or, colloquially, as jumping to a conclusion. I thought she was making pretty good sense. That may seem so, Yeoman, but her argument is invalid. The fallacy of insufficient sample is an informal fallacy of faulty generalization by which a person reaches an inductive generalization based on insufficient evidence, essentially making a rushed conclusion without considering all of the variables. Nurse Chapel, you employed this fallacy when you stated that former computer systems technicians make poor med techs because they are not nurturing enough, after noting that two previous transfers, Tipton and Ali, were insufficiently empathetic. While inferring a rule from the examining of examples is the hallmark of inductive reasoning, one must take care to ensure that the examples are sufficient to represent all instances and that they are not special cases. Likely, technicians Tipton and Ali were not compassionate enough because of their upbringing or their respective cultural norms, not because of a general rule that computer systems personnel are all that way. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Yes, I should reassess my thinking. That would be best, and perhaps give Everett another chance. Oh, of course. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as the fallacy of insufficient sample or making a hasty generalization. It's only logical 